Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be showing you how I got this look. This is kind of my go-to holiday look and I will also be trying out the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I know I'm late but hey better late than ever right? Um, but I was gifted that from an amazing friend of mine and I've been dying to try it so yeah you're gonna see my thoughts on that. I also tried a new lip product. You will also see what that product is. And my phone is not on a stand, so I apologize if I'm making you drunk in this intro. But yeah, so this is the look that I will be doing today. And it is literally super easy. 10 minutes, you are in and out of the door, and anybody would look absolutely stunning in this type of a look. Um, so yeah, I hope that you like it, and thank you for watching. Okay, so <laughs> as you can see, um, yeah, I look kind of crazy right now. Um, so I have basically my entire face done aside from obviously what we're trying out today. And I am trying these. They're not new. I've definitely wanted these for like way over a year. Um, but they are called the Sleep Styler and I got the minis. Um, but I was not going to spend $35 on these things. So they were on clearance for like 12 bucks at Walmart. So I'm trying them. You're really supposed to do them overnight and do it with your hair wet, so hence my hair kind of coming out of them, but I'm going to my mom's house, so I just wanted to like just see what they look like, you know what I'm saying, and just try them out. Um, I will say like on first, first, first impression, super easy to use, super user friendly, and super soft and squishy, so I definitely think that you could sleep with these overnight. They're like a squishy, I guess like memory foam. So yeah, um, again, I am testing out. I'm going to be doing my kind of go-to holiday look with the Urban Decay One to Run palette. One of my amazing friends sent me this, and I have not opened it. Looked, I haven't even looked at it. I mean, obviously, I've seen it online because I really wanted it really badly. <laughs> so yeah, and I will take the rollers and stuff out at the very end. I will also list all the products on my face in the description box below. I'm excited, you guys. And I really feel like, honestly, there's tape on it, hold on one second. I really feel like Urban Decay has really stepped up, especially in like the last year. Um, I know kind of in the past, like the electric palette and things like that were kind of hit or miss with a lot of people. I really loved it. I thought the electric palette was amazing. Um, I'm not somebody that uses super bold, crazy colors all the time, but the pigment was there, the staying power and stuff was there. So, I mean, I, I've always been a huge fan of Urban Decay. Oh, okay, so that is what it looks like. I'm sure by now everybody on the planet has seen this palette. It feels super heavy, really, really substantial. The palette itself feels amazing. Oh, my God. There is a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers. Um, definitely gearing more towards uh, warm tones. But there are some purples and some pinks and then, like, a couple's, like, blues and greens down here. Um, this look is going to be kind of super simple and then kind of like a bold red lip and then like a ton of mascara. That for me is kind of my go-to like holiday Christmassy type of look. I like to do just a super soft neutral natural eye, tons of mascara if you want to do, you know, a wing liner or something like that, absolutely do that. Um, I may do some glitter or something too, we'll see what happens. Um, and then just like a pop of a red lip. I think a red lip with a natural eye is so freaking stunning, you guys. So um, my lids are prepped and I'm ready to go and one of my curlers is falling out of my head. We're just gonna take her out. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a few brushes. And again, this is gonna be a super, super simple look, you guys, that anybody at any skill level can do with pretty much any shadow, to be honest with you. I am going to go into Weekender first. Oh, I love that you can bend the palette all the way back. I love that so much. So I'm gonna go into Weekender first, which is just kind of just creamy natural tone right here. And I'm going into a Real Techniques fluffy blending brush. There is quite a bit of kickback coming up in the palette, which again, you guys know I'm okay with that. That shit doesn't bother me. Um, and I'm taking this just as a transition shade. Which again, this is gonna be a super, super natural, you know, eye look, obviously. We're kind of really focusing here on the lips. So I'm just gonna very naturally take this just into my crease. I like to also bring it into the hollow of the eye as well. 
this palette feels nice, you guys. Like, it's, it's really heavy. I mean, substantial. And then, because I do have hooded lids, I always kind of, instead of staying really in the crease, I definitely have to come up just a little bit more on the lid. I do want to smell this. Okay, it doesn't smell funky. I want to feel it with my fingers as well. They feel incredible, like super, super soft, which I'm actually pretty shocked by, to be honest with you, because there's so much kickback that's in the pan. But again, kickback doesn't bother me. I'm looking at, you know, blendability, buildability, you know, does it stay, does it last all day? And this is a look, honestly, that you can pair this with literally a gloss or a nude lip and this could be literally your every single day takes five to seven minutes go to work you know run to and from the store whatever the case may be and you're in and out so obviously same thing on both sides and I really feel like coming in all the way to the like the hollow of the eye even if I'm gonna like keep this part of the eye open through here and kind of really light which I like to try to do having hooded lids um, I really just feel like it just it looks good. Like, I really feel like it helps to define the eye space. I don't know. I just like, God, there's, there's a lot of fallout in this. A lot. I can't remember if I've seen any reviews on this or not. Like I said, I really try to not watch any, you know, like YouTube videos or reviews or anything like that. Um, it is blending beautifully. I do feel like the shade in the pan is the shade that is applying to the lid. I am next going to go into Still Shot, which is that pretty kind of peachy tone right here, right beside it. And you guys can see, I mean, there's a substantial amount of kickback in the pan. So I'm going into Still Shot, the same exact brush. Again, this is going to be just super, super soft. Now this time I am going to stay actually in my crease. And I'm just kind of deepening it up, but still keeping it really soft. I mean, I have to, I honestly have to say they're, they're blending very, very nicely. Like nothing is becoming muddy or anything. Of course I would have to, you know, obviously try multiple colors, but it's definitely blending beautifully together. I do just have foundation down and then concealer, and then I always just put a little bit of powder on top of it. That is always how I prep my lids, no matter what, you know, shadows I'm using. Hope everybody is ready for Christmas. I am super excited and super ready. I'm going to my mom's today. And we always go to my mom's house also for Christmas Eve. And we kind of do like, we open presents and stuff at my mom's house on Christmas Eve. And like she does like kind of a, a Christmas Eve dinner. Um, like nothing crazy or fancy or anything like that. But we do like, you know, meatballs and like finger sandwiches and all that good shit. Um, and I like to have me some eggnog and some rum. It's kind of my little thing, my little treat to fail. Um, so yeah, we, I love doing that. And we normally stay till midnight. It's just kind of like tradition in our family. And then, of course, I get up bright and early Christmas morning and I start cooking. And then my son gets up and we do presents here at the house. And then our families come over and then everybody does dinner here. Um, this year we've kind of decided, um, I did, like, we kind of went all out for Thanksgiving, and we've decided that we're going to do, like, a kind of like a soup and chili bar, so we're going to have, like, crock pots and pots and stuff set up with chilies and chicken and pastry and, like, homemade vegetable soup, and then, like, for the chili we'll have, like, Fritos, we're in the South, y'all, um, <laughs> we're going to have, like, Fritos and sour cream and stuff like that, um, we call that Frito pie around here, y'all, it's delicious, if you have not tried it, then please do. Put you some Fritos in a bowl, put some chili on top, put some cheese and some sour cream, y'all. It is delicious. Please try it. Um, but we'll have that and then some homemade vegetable beef soup, um, some chicken and pastry, and then, of course, we'll have some desserts and stuff. My son and I love to bake and do cookies and potato candy and things like that. So, yeah, like, we're really excited about that. I do want to warm this up just a little bit. I normally wouldn't go, I, I normally would just stop here, but bring this shade kind of all the way down and then 
that's it like super super natural like I said we're focusing on the lips but just because I want to try a couple more shadows in here and kind of see how the darker shades work <laughs> I want to go into the shade Baja which is actually a true orange like a burnt orange shade and I'm going to go into a little bit more of a smaller brush and this is an Ipsy um, SL Mix Miss Glam brush T35 and I'm going to go into Baja okay this one actually doesn't have any kickback which is strange so I'm just going to place this on the outer corner and I'm going to start by packing it first. Oh, oh that is pretty. These are like my colors, like these, you know, peachy, orange, red, those types of shades. Love. Okay, so again, super soft, blending out absolutely beautifully. So I'm going to place it down, the bulk of the product again, I like to just kind of pack it in place. And then just whatever is left on my brush, I will bring over. Oh, that is pretty, you guys. I don't understand why the Baja has, like, no fallout in the weekend or did. That's, that's just kind of strange to me. So, again, just in the outer corner. I'm going to kind of pack it in. And this is just to give myself just a little bit of dimension. Give yourself just a little bit of something, something, you know. And if you do kind of packing motions first, it just kind of ensures that you kind of get the pigment laid down all the way first. I also find that if I kind of lay my brush down and kind of pack first, I get less fallout. Especially for somebody like myself because I do my foundation and everything first. Um, again, that's personal preference. You know, however you want to do it is completely up to you. But I'm, at, I'm not getting any fallout at all. And then when there's no product left on the brush, then I will kind of take it and blend it over into my crease. So I am actually super, super, super happy that I wanted this and that I now have it in my possession in my poor little hands because I'm pretty fucking obsessed with this already. I'm just gonna softly blend this out And I actually think I am going to add a little bit of glitter. Like I said, normally, you guys can use the first two shades and bring that one shade and do the entire lid, do a ton of mascara, do a cat wing, and leave it at that. Um, I still think I'm going to keep it, it's still going to be pretty natural, but I do want to add like maybe a little bit of glitter or try this gold that's in here. Um, I'm not going to cut, cut it out or anything like that. I'm literally going to place it just right on top. So I think to keep it still natural, I think I'm going to go ahead and go into Stranded right here. Although I really want to try this Ignite shade because it's, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Um, but I still want to keep it super soft and super light on the eyes. So I'm going to just go right here into Stranded just with my fingers. And just where the open lid space is right here, I'm going to... Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty, you guys. And this feels insane this feels so nice i need to look at some like youtube videos i need to see some reviews i want to see what other people have said oh my god that's pretty <gasps> now if you want to intensify this you could definitely wet your brush and use a flat brush for this i'm actually going to take it up just a little bit and kind of use it as like a little veil on top but for me, for metallic and like shimmer shades, I always just use my fingers. I just feel like it's easier. Okay, yeah, I'm really liking that. Again, keeping it super natural. I forgot my little towel. I always keep a little black towel on my lap. I used to not do that, you guys, and um, I would ruin multiple pairs of shorts and or pants. So I learned the hard way to, uh, to keep something down here. So now I'm gonna go into this little small brush. You can use like a flat defining brush. Um, this is the one that came from the um, BoxyCharm. This is a Luxie 121 mini tapered brush. I'm going to go back into the Baja, which was the burnt orange shade. And I'm just going to connect where the top color ends and connect it down here. And smoke it out ever so softly. Again, I'm trying to keep the eye... I not have better fingers. I'm trying to keep the eye as like soft and natural as possible. And apparently I still had black on this brush. Come on a little bit darker than I thought we would have. No worries, no worries. But I just always, especially because I'm not a liner fan, just because of my allergies and stuff, 
um, I always, always, always do bottom liner. And I always like to connect whatever shades I have used on top or the same color story that I like to use on the bottom. And that's just personal preference. You know, if you don't like it, if you don't like to bring your shadows down, that's totally fine. If you want to, you know, do liner, that's totally fine. This is just kind of an idea. You know, to just kind of do like a super soft, you know, more neutral eye or, I mean, obviously this is gearing a little bit more towards warm, but it's still a natural, more soft eye for me. Um, and then I'm going to go into my little e.l.f. brush. You guys know I always keep like just an empty, clean e.l.f. brush. I do not have any fallout whatsoever on my eyes, under my cheeks or anything like that. Although, like I said, that weekender shade had a lot of kickback in the pan. So I always keep this and I'm just very softly going to buff my edges and just make sure everything is just, you know, just soft, nice and soft and clean, no harsh lines or anything like that. I'm not disrupting the pigment. I'm not trying to take anything away. I'm just softening everything. And then I'm going to go into, and make sure it's cleaned off. <laughs> I'm going to go into an SL Miss Glam N15, kind of more like a flat brush. And I'm going to go into Breakaway up here, which is just a soft, like, white shade. And I'm going to just do the very top part of my brow bone. This shade also has a little bit of kickback in the pan, so just, you know, tap your brush off. I'm going to take the same exact brush, I'm going to go back in Stranded, which was just the gold that we did on the lid, and I just want to put a little bit of gold just in my inner corner, and I'm going to bring it out just ever so slightly onto the lash line, the bottom lash line. And again, you don't have to do that, you could have stopped a long time ago and done the first two shades and called that it. <laughs> I feel like my orange is a little uneven, so I'm just going to even it up. I just want to make sure everything's blended out. So that's it. That is it for the eye, and then we're going to add some mascara to it. Um, this palette, I'm impressed. I am honest to God impressed with it. So I'm going to use two mascaras. I typically like to use two different mascaras. I like to use one that has the nice teeth on it, more of like a plastic type of comb. Um, so this one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I also love to use the Balm, the Mad Lash. That one is one of my absolute favorite ones. And then I'm going to go on top of it with the Lancome Monsieur Big because it's got more of the thicker, more dense brush to it. Um, and my other one that I like instead of that one is, excuse me, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I like this combination of mascaras, again, because of my allergies and things like that. I'm not really too much of a lash person, uh, yeah, lashes person. So this combination, the one that has the fine teeth on it, like this one, or like the Mad Lash one, um, this one will separate your lashes. It's going to really blacken them, really start to open up the lashes and stuff. And then when you take the Better Than Sex or the Monster or Big, whatever the case may be, you know, whichever one you want to use, that one's going to really blacken, thicken, volumize, and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, the two together makes for an incredible, incredible combination. So you can see the difference with just this one. And I like to do the next mascara while this one is still a little bit wet. And again, that's personal preference. I just feel that that works the best for me. And then again, this one's going to come in after that one. This is going to start really thickening, blackening, you know, volumizing the lashes. And I love the combination so much. And so that is before and after the lashes. As you can see, I mean, it looks 
absolutely beautiful together. So we would do the next eye, and then I lied, I actually use three mascaras because I use a different one for the bottom. I will sometimes take the one with the teeth and do the bottom, but there is a wet and wild one that I swear by for my bottom lashes, you guys, and it's like five bucks. It works so beautifully. And this Maybelline mascara, I wanna say it's like, seven to nine dollars um the mad lash one by the balm is around eighteen dollars the ones who are big and the better than six i want to say are both around twenty four dollars and can we talk about the new better than sex one the limited edition one that's pink with all the diamonds around it mama wants that so bad because she's pretty dense to me that would be like a mascara that i would use and then i would keep it and just like display I think it's absolutely stunning. Although I do have about six mascaras over here that I need to try out because I keep getting mascaras in like ipsy bags and things like that. So I have a lot that I need to try out and I'm dying to try. So again, I'm gonna go right over that. Again, why it's still wet. And then place the ones you are big on top. I do also like for the second mascara, like the volumizing, um, I want to say it's a Smashbox, shit, I can't remember, it's like the Smashbox cover or something or something like that, but that one works really well too. So those are the lashes, I love this combination so much. And then for my bottom lashes, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara, again five bucks. And this is so teeny, 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 tiny. And it really grips. You can also use it on the top to kind of really start fanning out the top lashes. This works beautifully for the bottom lashes. And it doesn't clump. It doesn't give you like weird, you know, cakey bits that come out of the bottom. You can also go underneath the actual bottom lashes and pull them out, which is I've never been able to do with any mascara ever in my life. So I, I love it. This combination just, I just love it. I feel like it makes my lashes look absolutely insane. And if I'm only going to use one mascara, you know, if I'm not doing like an actual full makeup day, I will use the volumizing one. Meaning I will use the Better Than Sex by itself or I will use like the Monsieur Big by itself. So you can see I'm actually coming underneath those lashes. And it doesn't clump, it doesn't leave anything like laying down, you know, on the skin underneath the lids or anything like that. It's it's absolutely amazing. And five dollars. <laughs> so that is the look. And then we're gonna go through the lips. Like this is it. And again, if I would have done like the gold or anything like that, literally those two super soft shadows would have been absolutely perfect. So because I am a little bit more mature. I'm almost getting some little lines in her lips. I always recommend for my older clients or just like, you know, my girlfriends that ask in general, they will all say to me, when I try to wear regular lipsticks or darker, bolder lippies, my lipstick will feather and it will bleed into my, you know, into the outer part of my lips. Um, so this right here has been my saving grace for many years. This is the Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. And it looks white, it kind of looks like a milky white pencil. But when you put it on your lips, or work, you know, obviously your lips, <laughs> um, there is no color. There is no color to it at all. And I always use this before I'm going to use a regular lipstick, which we know I don't usually wear. And then if I'm going to use a border color, like today I'm going to be trying out this NYX red lipstick. So I always go very slightly, like as if I was going to overdraw my lips a little bit. I go slightly outside my lip line so that it catches the lipstick. I would assume that every brand has one of these. I don't know. This is just always the one that I've used. So again, I'm just going to go slightly around my lip line. So if you are, you know, more mature or you feel like, you know, your lipstick bleeds or anything like that, definitely get one of these. And, I mean, it doesn't have to be Milan, it can be any brand. I definitely am assuming every brand carries these.
And a lot of people will say, why not use just a regular red lip liner if you're gonna use red lipstick? My thing is this, even sometimes lip liners, if they are a little bit too soft or too waxy, they can still go outside the lip line and they can still kind of cause my lipstick to bleed. So I'm also gonna be trying the NYX Epic Ink Lip Dye, and this is the shade Poised. I'm a little nervous. I'm a lot nervous. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this, it almost looks pinky red. I really fucking hope it's not. So we're gonna shake her up. Y'all, y'all pray for mama now. Oh, please be red. Okay, oh, oh my gosh, that looks pretty. Absolutely no smell, like none, which is kind of odd. Oh. All right, y'all, here we go. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. This is like a true, true, deep, deep, bold red. Feels like water on my lips. It is very pigmented. So this is definitely more of like a stain versus like a matte lippy. Side note, I'm gonna show up at my mom's house and she's gonna be like, why the, why the fuck do you have so much makeup on your face? Uh, okay, I'm gonna dip back in. This is really nice, Epic Ink Lip Dye. This is bomb. I'm not sure this is a new product, but I wish I knew about this when I was doing photo shoots all the time because this is absolutely perfect, like the perfect red for a pinup shoot. Don't you guys love good makeup days? Like when you feel like everything went on nicely. Everything went together well. Any product you tried out went well. <laughs> so I don't know if it's gonna instantly dry down or if it's gonna stay like transfer proof. We'll see. So in the meantime, this is amazing. Um, this is going to be, actually I'm going to keep it out of the box because I know I'm going to put it next to my Modern Renaissance palette and we're going to use her every single day. <laughs> um, this is a 10 out of 10 for me, even though that one shadow had quite a bit of kickback and I will also see obviously wear time, see how long it lasts, um, but I love it, absolutely love it, am obsessed already. So we are going to take these out. I don't know how much actual curl I'm gonna get from these. Again, you're supposed to do it when it's wet, but even if I just get like a little zhuzh, I'm cool with it. And I will revisit these and let you guys know like how they worked out as far as doing them the proper way, meaning, you know, putting them in with your hair wet. And then doing it, we'll see what happens. Maybe. Sorry about my hair armpits too. Huh. 
real life, people. It's real life. Sometimes we forget. And it's winter time, so I'm not actually going to be wearing a tank top today. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it, it's giving me some lift, and I've only had them in as long as I've been filming, so. I mean, it's giving me a little something something. I'm not mad at it. Oh, we do have these in like short and long. I definitely think that if this is something that you've seen, kind of like me, I wanted them last year for Christmas, but I could not bring myself to spend that much on these. I just couldn't. Um, but if you have seen these and you wanted them, then check out Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it definitely gave me a lot of volume. I really like that. So yeah, I mean, I will revisit these. Overall, though, I'm super obsessed. Okay, it dried down. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It actually feels insanely light on the lips, you guys. I am going to invest in some more of these, so definitely check this out. Again, it's the NYX Epic Ink Lip Dye. That is what it looks like. I'm going to see if they have a bunch of nudes, <laughs> and we're going to use them. Mm -hmm. So that is the look. This is my pretty much every single year for the holidays. This is the look that I will do. Again, I go a little bit softer, a little bit softer on the eyes. Um, but yeah, but you could do this and do a nice cat wing and then do this as well. And that's a super pretty classic, you know, kind of classic look. I think a red lip is super stunning on everybody. I also think gold is super stunning on everybody. So yeah, I'm... Kind of excited I'm living for this look and I'm kind of liking my hair like this too. Yeah. Alright y'all. Let me just go for a second. You know. And by the way, this Morphe highlight that I've recently been trying out is the bomb. I absolutely love that too. But everything will be listed below. And thank y'all so much. Merry Christmas. Um, if you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. If you hit that notification bell, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. And remember to always be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.